out in Lubbock this week, um, Texas Tech announced that it would have its first sellout since 2018. I was a little surprised that that they haven't had any uh, sellouts since then, but um, they have sort of cycled through coaches. <laughs> um, so the Red Raiders welcome number 22, Texas, in what will likely be the Longhorns' last trip to Jones Stadium out there in Lubbock in probably a long, long time. Um, so this is a series that historically has been dominated by the Longhorns, not even really historically recently. Uh, they've won 11 of the last 13 meetings. And I found this interesting. So Tech has not won over Texas in Lubbock since 2008. Now, granted, it's every other year, but that they go to Lubbock, but uh, what do you guys think? Does that streak end on Saturday? Does Joey McGuire's team get it done? I don't. I don't see that happening. Um, and I, I, I was blown away when I saw that stat about Texas Tech and and the sellouts. You guys have been to Lubbock more than I have, probably. Mm. What is there else? What else is there to do in Lubbock? Right, right. <laughs> um, I mean, my gosh. Um, but anyway, um, I. I I'm pretty high on Texas. Um, I, I I really am, and I think Sark's got it going there. Um, you know, as good as they are this year, I think I think he's he's got a wonderful recruiting class. And granted, they've got more money than God mm. down there, and they're, that they're giving those those um, those those student athletes, or the, not the schools giving the student athletes, but but uh, the name, image, and likeness stuff. Iowa State lost a basketball player. I mean, Tyrese Hunter, Iowa State's best player lost him after this freshman year last year to Texas. So, um, you know, and why not? And I think we're just tip of the iceberg of all that stuff, but, but I, I, I do like Texas and especially if viewers is coming back this, this week, which I understand he's practicing. Um, we'll see about that, but B. John Robinson, I mean, my gosh, um, and the receivers, um, Matt Campbell said yesterday, a few times yesterday, that Baylor's got is he's very impressed with Baylor's speed. I mean, obviously the, the fastest team that Iowa State will have played this year. Um, but I, you know, in a couple three weeks or whenever it is, I think we're going to run into a similar speedy team like Texas. So I think I think Texas um, um, spoils that uh, that sellout. Mm. Yeah. What do you What do you say, John? Th- that is an amazing stat. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, on the, go on the road and, and, and win and love it all those years. And to me, that's a hard place to play. Um, you know, it's way out there. And uh, those fans are just absolutely rabid. Now, I would say. Yeah. I would Last say year, they that, had to move the student body because they were throwing stuff on the Iowa State side. Yeah. They had to move the student body out. Yeah, yeah. I would say over the top rabid a lot of times. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to take Texas. I, I just think they're they're a pretty good team right now. And uh, to me, tech's still a little bit unproven, although, you know, they've been pretty good. You know, they beat, beat Houston, gave North Carolina state a pretty good game, but uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'd go with the Longhorns here. Well, I may be the outlier. Of course, this probably uh, says something about my college picks this season, (laughs) but uh, I may take the red Raiders in this one. Uh, so this series has been plenty of close games, that's for sure. Even when Texas has won there in Lubbock, it's usually uh, come down to a touchdown. They, they tend to be a little more lopsided in Austin. Tech doesn't play as well in Austin, but those games in Lubbock have been good and have been close. I like the energy that Joey McGuire has brought to that Texas Tech program. Um, John and I, we saw that firsthand here. Uh, you know, when he was at Baylor and just, he's just a guy, he's just an infectious kind of guy. I mean, uh, he just draws people in. He has reinvigorated that fan base. I was stunned as well, Randy, about the sellout thing. Um, Cause yes, you're right. What else is there to do? <laughs> but also, you know, it just, it, it feels like they've always kind of supported that team. So I was a little surprised that they'd gone that long without a sellout, but um, I don't know, uh, Texas, I agree with you guys. I am the Alabama game was impressive. There's no question about it. We sat here the week before that game, John, and, uh, and 
and figured it was going to be a bloodbath. And Texas showed everyone that they were for real. Um, but they're going to have to go and show it again. I mean, that's what, that's what you have to do in conference play. And um, so we'll see. It, I, that's going to be a fun one. And I, to me, maybe the game of the week. I think Baylor Iowa State's a pretty good one too. But certainly one of the games to watch in the Big Twelve.